Hi, good morning and thank you for tuning in today. Today, let's discuss the two very key important things in terms of relationships. The questions you should ask yourself and reflect on those things and how a boy, a girl, man, a woman needs to reevaluate those things for better relationships. What specific things about your love life brings you happiness? These are the self-reflecting questions. The answers is with you and what actions you need to take is also with you. Is it someone who shares your daily activities with? The security of being in love with each other? Is it security of being in couple? be it for men and women, and some of them do fall for the securities. Is it the excitement you both are chasing in a daily life? The questions may seem to be simple, but the answers can astound you. And there is a wonderful study done in US that on an average, each couple spends in a day for all the reflecting questions is less than 10 minutes be it with the activities be it with, the, with all those interactions activities so on and so forth imagine the average married person spends less than 10 minutes a day with their mate how would the relationships look like and how could you make more time for each other irrespective of the busy lives we do go through and Let's be honest, each of you need each other. And then each of you have a different vulnerabilities, which other person needs to give a comfort and so on and so forth. The idea behind even getting into the relationships, not because of any other external factors. Yeah, external factors can help you to build, but if you both don't connect each other in a deeper level, things may not look like the best possible for the year ahead of you. But spending less than a 10 minutes there, as per the statistics says, is not the right way for each other to look within and ask how much time I can spend with my intimate partner, someone who close to connect you. For you to see a uh, long lasting and also the more understanding in a deeper level to for you to connect to each other, which can definitely bring you I'm not saying that happiness, but definitely brings you greater understanding and to step back and step back when each of you or either of you following the difficult times. And that's what the understanding does, you know, seeing being an empathetic way of understanding each other and then being an other person shoes to understand what could you do better to make other pe other person feel comfortable. Imagine if you spend some with someone like 15 years to 20 years, you know, is it a sad part later on to decide for a small hiccups for you to get separated? You know, yeah, things can go hey, right? But at the same time, you both need to figure it out a way to sort out the things in a best possible way. And in particular, if you are having a grown up kids and adults, and then it's not because what other things, don't take me wrong, but at the same time, it's about how each of you in intimate relationships or being each other, each of you think about each other is very important. Yeah, if you spend like 10, 15 years or sometimes even 30 years, people who spend together and they get divorced. Well, external factors, not saying that you need to forgive each other for the uh, knowingly doing the mistakes. Let's say having an external affairs, you know, it's uh, uh, for both sides. It's not the right way to do. I mean, come on, you know, the other person can really can get hurt and the other person can go to a deeper depression because someone who you trusted for that long uh, decided to go for something which didn't make even a sense yeah if you want to figure it out figure it out on your own ways and what gives you both of you that great pleasure or else you know talking to each other can definitely bring you to that clarity what someone likes what someone don't like it but you know just because you are uncomfortable talking to each other thinking that what other person might think and then going for external validation or going for external uh, pleasurable things will definitely ruin your life no matter you have one year of relationships or 30 years of marriage, 50 years of marriage. And that's how most of the time people do get carried away by taking granted by the other person. It should not be because you should respect each other from the day one till you both drift apart and 
which are the ways it could be by death or it could be by some things which people cannot control well that's why it is always being said mind as long as you control your mind as long as you control your desires and direct that in a right direction things will definitely look into a right smooth and uh, long way for each of you if you don't have that clarity if you don't want to do that my suggestion or everyone's suggestion is don't commit yourself just go with the flow and have fun so there is no commitment if there is no commitments you're on your own and do whatever makes you feel right at that point of time but eventually you will definitely fall back and think with the regret saying that why did i do that so that's not what you know at some point of time you need to take a drastic decisions or calls if you really want to pursue that kind of life so um, having said that communication is a clear communication is a clarity that's something that you should continue to do even though it's uncomfortable it's very easy to tell i love you i like you you're the best but something you don't like to confront and put it in a best possible way that other person can understand yeah you know there's there are times that you need to draw a line and say hey you know what this is what i see i don't like it if you could express in a best possible way for one or two times and the person is not getting through to the head sometimes direct communication so you really need to say hey you know what i don't like that and somehow this is why i don't like it so i think we should work it out the best possible way and if the person again continues then you really need to step back and give some distance so that other person feels that yes you know when the person is saying the other person is saying and he means it and then you take the calls so to some this um, it's a sad reality to, to find out um, during the studies of uh, the people who is in a close relationships people who are married or relationships so on and so forth gets less than 10 minutes a day for each other in your busy lives giving 10 minutes to each other doesn't if you calculate even for 30 years you hardly spend much however giving more time to each other understanding each other views uh, that can bring you a broader understanding for you to have a live a long and happy life thanks for watching i hope that helps